Bonjour, I'm Chef Arnold. A couple of weeks back, I received a very strange request from a friend of mine. He asked me, Arnold, I love pasta so much. I love the orange flesh sweet potato. So is it possible for you to actually do a pasta dish with the orange flesh sweet potato? And he told me, yes, why not? I can do it for you. So I'm inviting you now to join me as I do a pasta dish using the orange flesh sweet potato. And the pasta of choice is this, the cannelloni pasta. As you can see we have an array of ingredients over here from the orange flesh sweet potatoes. I've already diced my potatoes, they're nice and ready. We have mushrooms, we have spinach, there's some butter, so don't be intimidated, don't feel intimidated by this at all. So the first step now is to be able to blanch the spinach. Blanching the spinach is by boiling it. So we are good to go. We need some hot water, it's on this saucepan. We'll add a dash of salt so that the spinach will come out nice and fresh and green. The reason why we are parboiling the spinach or blanching it, if you may, is so that we are able to, to shred it finely and saute it with the rest of the ingredients when it comes to the actual cooking. So you need to have the water, the water boiling. So there you go, put in our spinach. Spinach is done. So I need to refresh this, drain it and refresh it. I'm setting it aside so that it can cool. So now this, we are done with the spinach. We take another saucepan. So we need to dice our onions. As the saucepan gets hot, so that it's nice and ready. Done. Let's oil the pan. Give it time. Give it time to lubricate completely so that you'll get a nice surface that will not stick as you prepare the food. We also have mushrooms. So when you're combining the orange flesh sweet potatoes, you're combining with the mushrooms, you're combining with spinach. We are dicing the mushrooms. This is a tinned mushrooms. You can also get fresh mushrooms. They're available in, your, in the supermarkets, in the shops. And I prefer to use the tinned one, easier to use. So when you combine the mushroom, you're combining with the spinach, you're combining with the orange flesh sweet potato, you realize, including the pasta now, you realize you're putting in so much natural goodness into a very simple pasta like this. So there we go. The pan is nice and hot. Don't worry about the tomatoes. So we put in the onions, you sweat them or you saute them depending on the language of preference. We're adding some ginger, this is ginger and garlic paste, gives it a nice, nice flavor. So we don't need our onions to turn brown, we just need to turn a very pale color. And now I'm able to, I want to drain my orange flake sweet potatoes. 
The reason why I put them in water is because they oxidize. They turn a different color. So I'll drain this. There you are. You need this to cook. So you need to maintain the heat level such that the orange flesh sweet potato does not really stick onto the surface and yet you're still frying. So you need to be able to maintain that, that balance between the two of them. You need to do the spinach. You remember we had the purple spinach. It's boiled but it's still very fresh and green. So now we add the mushrooms. And at this point, I'll introduce some very, very little seasoning because the orange flesh sweet potato comes almost naturally seasoned. So you need very, very little, just a dash of salt and a dash of uh, freshly ground, I'll pinch this with my hands, a freshly ground black pepper. You don't need much, you don't need any stock cubes, you don't need any artificial flavorings. It's coming in very nice. So we don't need to be to cook for so long because it will bake. We have to make it to bake. So we add in our spinach. So the orange flesh, sweet potato, mushroom, and spinach mix is cooked. It's ready now. We set it aside to cool so that we can start the other part. You might be wondering now, where does the pasta come in in all this? Now it's time to make the pasta sauce. So this pan, it's, uh, it's dry and ready. You can use the oil of your choice. As the oil eats up, you need to, to blend these fresh tomatoes, the contents. Good. You take your garlic and ginger. Some people may not like the garlic and ginger flavor or aftertaste, but believe me, you when you when you fry it into into the sauce or into the food that you're making, you find that you actually mitigate that. But when when you add it onto already a prepared sauce, then you end up with that aftertaste. Even a very very nice smell. Even the neighbors are wondering. What's cooking over there? This is the tomato paste. Now we add tomato paste. Remember you have the fresh tomatoes and you have the tomato paste. So we also need this to cook. So important. It has a, naturally it has a bitter taste. So if you cannot capture it, cooking, and not burning, we end up with a, with a sauce that is not very appealing to the taste buds. So we must get this correct. And remember, we're not using very high heat. Then we add in the herbs. This is dried herbs. This is uh, oregano and basil. I want to add it onto, onto the sauce to cook this. Then now there is the, the tomatoes, which we have already blended. So there you are. You can call it a red sauce. You can call it tomato sauce. You can now see the herbs that are in the tomato. So this tomato might be acidic. Sometimes it gets acidic depending on the season the tomatoes have been harvested. They might be acidic, but you can check the acidity of the tomato by using sugar, just a dash of sugar. It takes away that. So we need this to simmer a little bit. Now I'll take a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Because remember I told you the orange flesh sweet potato comes almost naturally seasoned. And you want to put in a little bit of black pepper. Black, black pepper is freshly ground. 
it's not very hot, especially when you add it onto an already existing sauce. So it gives you a nice balance and aroma from the oregano, from the basil, from the garlic and the ginger, and the fresh tomatoes. Then you take in a small amount of sugar, just a small amount of sugar, to be able to just check the acidity levels of the tomato. This is looking real good. This is my butter. I love butter. Just add a, a knob of butter. There are so many ways of incorporating butter into your meals. So now you can see the sauce is reducing to a very nice and thick consistency. So we'll add in our cream. This is cooking cream. Put it in. You can do the complete white sauce. Some people do the white sauce. If they want to make a pasta sauce, they mix with the red sauce. But I prefer to use the cream. It's a bit... Uh, it, uses, it gives the sauce a, a more rich texture than if I were to use a white sauce. Because the white sauce is basically is, is flour based. So now that sauce is ready for the next line of action. This is cooked. Boy, oh boy, look at that. So good. So now this is the part you've been waiting for. Remember our previous orange flesh, sweet potato, mushroom, and spinach mixture? Here it is, it's ready. The sauce is ready, good to go. And the pasta. And now we need to introduce a dish whereby we lay this pasta and bake it. So you take part some of the sauce so that the pasta does not, does not get entangled or does not get caught up between the Pyrex dish from the heat in the oven. So there you are. I need to use some gloves. This can get a bit messy. So I take my cannelloni. Just stuff it nice and easy. So you need to give it room. You don't fill it completely. You need to give it room so that as it cooks, it expands, soaks in the sauce. There you go. It's real looking nice. Spread the sauce. So the more cannelloni you have, the more sauce you require. So that is covered. It's very nice. So we need to cover it up with foil. Cover it with foil. Bake it in the oven for around 20 minutes while it's still covered. So when it's covered, it will steam and soften in those day in the sauce and the resultant steam. So there you go. This is ready to go into the oven. And now our orange flesh sweet potato cannelloni is ready for the final phase of cooking. So basically, I'm going to remove it from the oven. The results, you can see, it's cooked. It's cooked in that sauce. So this is uh, some cheddar cheese. You can have a cheese of your choice. I'm going to sprinkle some cheese generously across. I love the cheese. If you don't like the cheese, you can have your cannelloni without the cheese. Finally, our orange flesh sweet potato cannelloni is ready. You 
can see how it looks. Very nice and cheesy. Look at that. Let you get some of that sauce. So there you are. You can have a side salad. I've made a side salad to mop up all the excess juices and the flavors of the cannelloni. Fill it up with that salad. Fresh and yummy. And now to my good friend who challenged me to do a pasta dish with the orange flakes sweet potato. Here it is, the cannelloni with the orange flakes sweet potatoes, the mushroom, the spinach, the cheese, the red sauce, the salad. Wow, it looks so yummy. I just can't wait to eat this. Enjoy.